Hey, church family, Pastor Matt here, and I'm coming to you today to just talk a little bit about this coming Sunday because it's going to look a little bit different. If you've been following along with us, we were going through James. We took a break from James as we stepped into Holy Week and celebrated the resurrection of Jesus this last week. And before we jump back into the book of James, we're going to take a week just to share with you a little bit about what God has been instilling upon the leaders uh, of our church and a heart with which we want to move forward together. And this comes at a time where we're motivated by two things. One is really a, a time within our church family and our culture where we see a need to just further unify together under what scripture says and who God has called us to be. And the second piece of that is because we've seen so many new faces, we want to take an opportunity to talk through who we are, uh, who we're striving to be, and how we are trusting the Lord to get there. And so we want to invite you to join us this coming Sunday uh, for our normal service times. We're going to have Sunday school at 9 a.m. And then at 1030, we're going to gather together. Uh, we're going to worship the Lord. And then we're going to spend a significant amount of time looking at primarily at 1 Peter chapter 2. So if you want to go ahead and read ahead, I would actually challenge you to read the whole book of 1 Peter. But specifically, 1 Peter chapter 2 is going to be our focus text this coming Sunday. And we're going to seek to ask the question, what does it look like for us to be a people possessed by God for his purposes? That's that's the main question we're going to be asking. And then at the end of that service time, we're going to be giving you a challenge and actually inviting you to help us kind of uncover where we're at and better set us on a course for where we should be going. So it's, it's kind of a prequel to a broader vision casting and looking at scripture, looking at who we are, looking at the obstacles we face in the culture today, and then just prayerfully trusting the Lord and saying, God, we want to be faithful and we want to steward what you have entrusted to us well. So I hope you'll join us. I hope you will come prayerfully that the Lord would open each one of our eyes to see how, what part, what role we play in moving together towards what God has for us as the church in the days ahead. So love to have you 1030 this coming Sunday. Hope you have a blessed rest of your week and enjoy the Lord's faithfulness reflecting on the hope he's given us in Jesus.